Jenna here with Queen of Diamonds. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're returning, as always, welcome back. I have a special unboxing today to share with you. First, I want to tell you about this diamond painting shop. They are new in the community and it has been confirmed that they do sell legally licensed artwork. The name of the shop is Diamond Art Emporium. I found them on Etsy. So I want to give a shout out to Shell who owns Black Dahlia Diamond Art. She's a friend of mine and she's the one who told me about Diamond Art Emporium. I had the opportunity to exchange some messages with the owner, Ren Fanning, and I asked him for a history of how he became Diamond Art Emporium and I would like to read what he wrote. But first I want to tell you about this diamond painting. This is from the fabulous Cheryl Carpenter. I am so excited to finally have a Cheryl Carpenter piece in my collection. I have wanted one of her diamond paintings for the longest time, but she has so much artwork that calls out to me and is very, I don't know, it's just very personable to me. So I was really excited to find this one. It screamed out to me and I knew I had to have it. It was like an instant click. So I can't wait to share that with you. We'll get into that unboxing. But first, I'm just going to read what Ren said about the history of his shop. So we'll get into that first and then the diamond painting. All right, guys, I had to go grab my glasses because y'all know how bad my eyes are. I tell you all the time, I have really bad eyes, so I can't read the message without it. And I have it in really big print on the computer, too. So it's just how my eyes are. All right, I'm just going to read Ren's message about the history of his shop. I had retired and after some time grew to let home improvement projects sit on the back burner. On a whim, I purchased a diamond painting kit from Timu on one of their special spin to win things. No idea what it was. Sounded artsy. I like artsy. Fast forward, I own and operate the first that I know of gay diamond painting store. The store isn't gay. I am. But there are gay themed kits, kits that gay men might find interesting. One real reason for the store is the giant void in gay content and a personal goal of fixing that. There is no scarcity of rainbows or pride flags at Diamond Art Emporium. Like most businesses, things have evolved pretty dramatically in our first few months. There is a quickly growing on-demand catalog of hundreds, soon to be thousands, of images available to be made into diamond painting kits by special arrangements through the digital artist, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, I think it's Santa Claus. He has turned his entire library of work over to permit use for diamond painting kits exclusively through Diamond Art Emporium. The additional images is quickly becoming a continual flood of artwork never before seen. There are more projects in the works and some very near launch. The on-demand project is currently the primary focus to get those images listed and make sure there is a robust variety in every category possible. The search function is going to be invaluable. You won't have to search for floral anymore. You can type in iris or peony and get exactly what you're looking for with actual choices when they are shown. There is always something new, always something unique and fresh and exciting. Diamond Art Emporium and the art we offer and the creativity we inspire are so joyful to behold. In stock items for immediate shipping, special orders can be delivered in two to three weeks. It is a great resource to add when you're in the market for a new diamond painting kit or one of the many unique accessory items available. I got this diamond painting super fast. I think I ordered it and I had it in less than a week. It was really fast. So I can't wait to get into this. And I know there are some special accessories in here that I'm very curious about. So let's get into it, you guys. Okay, so let's take a look at the diamond painting that I got. I'm very excited about this one. I know, I feel like I say that about everyone, but I love diamond painting, you guys. What can I say? It is my passion. I love it. So I do get excited about everyone, I guess. <laughs> but this one's really, really piqued my curiosity because it is a new shop and it's Cheryl Carpenter. So very excited about this. All right. There we go. I like how nicely this is packaged inside the box keeps everything really safe. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so this is my invoice. I'm just gonna move that. All right, these are super cool. I'm really excited because I think he has really cool toolkits from what I've heard. So 
We're gonna take a look at that in just a moment, but let's take this diamond painting out of here. Oh, this is nice. This is packaged so well. I love the bubble wrap that it's wrapped in. That's really nice. Okay, so this is our painting and our drills. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Let's take a look at this toolkit. I'm gonna to bring you down. So this is just, I did not upgrade. This is just the standard toolkit that came with the diamond painting. So that's really cool. And it has a little note here from Diamond Art Emporium. Thank you for choosing my store, Ren. That's awesome. Thank you, Ren. I'm so excited about this. Okay, look how nice this is. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got a nice canvas bag here with a drawstring. Let's take a look at what we've got. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can untie that. Okay. All right. Look at that pen. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here we've got some trays. Oh, he sent three of them. That's super nice. You could actually put these side by side each other and have three different colors at the same time if you'd like to do that. But these are standard diamond painting trays. Now I tend to use upgraded diamond painting trays at this point, but if this is the kit you get and you're starting out and you don't have any of the upgraded accessories, these work just fine. And I like how they have funnels on them so you can dump them right into their containers. That's cool. Okay, and then we have, oh, he sent a sample of wax from Dream Wax Studios. This is the bubblegum fragrance, nice. I love, DreamWax Studios is one of my favorite waxes. Ooh, that smells really good. I have one of their bubblegum bricks that uh, smells really good, I love their bubblegum. Okay, and then look at our pen. Oh, you guys, that is a cool pen, super nice. I'm gonna take this out so we can take a look at it. I like that. Look at all the multi-placers I got. Okay, so I got some metal tweezers. That's cool. And then we have several different options for multi-placers, but here's our pen. That is really pretty. That's nice. So if you want to try placing more than one at a time, this is your single placer, but if you want to try placing more than one at a time, he has sent several attachments to try out and a straightener. That's cool. So we have a lot of different choices here for placing more than one diamond at a time. All right, I'm gonna slip all of this back in here. That is so cool that it comes with this nice pen. Very cool. That is not your standard pen that usually comes in the toolkits. That is a nice upgrade. Very nice. All right, I'm just gonna put this stuff off to the side for right now and I'll put it back in just a moment. But let's take a look at this. Okay, cute. I wonder what's in here. It looks like cover minders, but look at that cute cat sticker. I love that for Halloween. Oh, you guys, these are so cool. Look at these cover minders. There are two different cards here with beautiful cover minders. Look at those flowers. Those are so pretty. I love the color. Those will go along really well with my diamond painting. Just watch. Oh, you're going to love it. That is so pretty. And then look at these for Halloween. Oh, I love me some Halloween cover minders. Those are cute. We've got two scream guys here and a pumpkin and a witch hat. That's really cute. I love that. Thank you so much. I love cover minders. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side and the bag. Okay, and then let's get into this. All right, so here we've got, they sent a sticker sheet. Oh my word, I love it. Okay, so we have a sticker sheet. Look at this artwork by Cheryl Carpenter. Oh, you guys, isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get into that. All right, so here are all of our colors. We've got 90 colors <laughs> with this one. Look at that though. Can you see why? I mean, look how many colors there are. Oh, I love it. Look at her wings, how beautiful they are. I can't wait to see that in a diamond painting. I love how there's these, um, what do you call those that are inside the wings? It, I want to say that they look like veins, but I don't think wings have veins. I don't know, but 
That's what it reminds me of when I see it. Isn't that gorgeous? And her face, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. I love the stairs that lead up to this like tunnel of light. Oh, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. And her sleeves, I love how they're off the shoulder and they've got that kind of ruffle. Oh, you guys, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So 90 colors and we do have some specialty drills. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we've got, I don't know what FD is, but we're going to find out. So we've got FD there and we've got AB here and an FD. So that's three specialty drills so far. And then we've got another FD. So four. Oh, I can't wait to see what that is. And then we've got, so far I've counted four. I hope I'm not missing any. There's five. There's another AB. Oh my gosh, you guys. Six. I counted six specialty drills. This is going to be so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, I'm going to put that over here and we're going to take a look at this. Oh, I should mention, I was excited that this is a sticker sheet because when they have pre-cut stickers like this, it makes kitting up so convenient. I love it. So thank you for the sticker sheet. That is so nice. And they're pre-cut, which is great. And I have, this is a sticker and so is this. So I can put these in my diamond painting log book. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at our diamond painting. This is cute. It has these little paw stickers on each side, keeping it nice and secure in the bubble wrap. Oh, <laughs> it's so fun. I love these drills already. I can see how pretty they are. And they're in their Ziploc bags. I cannot believe there are 90 colors in this diamond painting. That is definitely a record breaker for me. I've never done 90 colors before. All right, let's take a look at the canvas first and then we'll get into the drills. But I wanna see this canvas. I cannot wait. It's a 50 by 50. I hope, I'm, I'm a little worried it might be too small to pick up some of the detail, but we're gonna take a look and see. It might not be. Okay. And I love how it has these rubber bands around it to keep it um, around this foam pad or foam roll. That is so awesome. So we've got a foam roll that keeps it crisp and from getting bent. I love that. There's some red tape right there. Okay. I am going to roll this backwards to get it to flatten out a little bit, but look at her. <gasps> she is beautiful. She's so fabulous. Okay, come on. I don't know, you guys. Cheryl Carpenter has so much artwork that I just love. It's like, I don't know, every piece that I see of hers, I hear Jenna. This is for you. Jenna, <laughs> this one's for you too. I don't know. I just, I can feel it. I feel her artwork so much. It's just amazing. Okay, I'm rubbing this so we can get a good flat canvas. With poured glue, you can generally fold your canvas backwards and rub it, give it a little bit of love, and then it should flatten out. This is a really nice quality canvas. I like the feel of it. It's nice and soft. The sides are scalloped and poked, so you shouldn't have any problems with fraying. Now the plastic is a little bit of the thinner type of plastic, which is okay, that's fine. And then we've got a really good sticky glue. I'm impressed with that. All right, let's take a look at the canvas. Up here at the top, we've got the name Ophelia. That's our, that's our diamond painting right here, Ophelia. It's a 50 by 50 centimeter. Over here, it shows that it is a square diamond painting. And then over on this side, we've got Diamond Art Emporium. And then we have two legends, one on each side. These legends are really small, super small. I am not bothered by a small legend because I usually just refer to the symbols on the bottles. I don't really even look at these legends, maybe once in a great while, but it's very rare that I even look at the, at the legends. I usually have washi tape around the border where the glue overlaps onto, um, you know, off of the canvas. I usually have it covered with washi tape anyway. So I really don't 
that doesn't bother me too much that it's really small, but if that is something that you will be bothered by, it is really small. But down at the bottom, it's just a blank canvas. There is nothing else down there. So let's take a look at the rendering. This is really beautiful. Now we do have some grid lines. Now I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical of grid lines only because, only because once in a while when I have had diamond paintings with grid lines, I'll see the grid lines in between the drills. That won't be a problem if these drills are good quality and sit really closely together, then that won't even be an issue. Grid lines are really nice. They make it very easy to keep your drills straight when you're working with squares. But like I said, it can be a little bit of a pain if the grid lines are showing through. But we don't know if that's gonna happen. So I don't mind the grid lines too much at this point. And let's take a look at her. I'm gonna bring you up. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love her. This is really pretty. This is gonna be a beautiful diamond painting. I really can't wait to work on this one. So let's take a look at our drills quickly and we'll see where they go. We'll, well, we'll look at the specialty drills and see where they go. This is so fun. I love how the drills are in individual Ziploc bags. That is really nice. And I don't know if the, the specialty drills will be all together or if they are going to be uh, spread throughout the entire um, stash of drills here because they are not grouped together on the legend or the um, pre-cut sticker. So we do have, this is really nice, this is an inventory sheet. So I love when they do that because it shows how many of each color you're going to be getting, how many bags of each color, and the quantity, the weight, they also have all of the information that's on the legend and the sticker sheet. Really pretty. Okay, so let's, let me see if I can just quickly locate the specialty drills. Well, you know what, you guys, let's take a look at the normal drills and check out the quality. This is a specialty drill. Maybe not. It's hard to tell if these are specialty drills or not. They're very beautiful. All right, so here are two different colors of purple. Actually, they're very, they look very similar on the camera, but they are different. Let's find a different color. Okay, here are two different colors. So we can take a look at these drills. Those look pretty good. Now, I don't know if these drills are resin or acrylic. I'm assuming they're acrylic, but I'm not, or I mean resin, but I'm not really sure about that. I'll have to find out. But those look good. Those look like they're pretty good quality. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna put these in here and let's see if we can find the specialty drills quickly. I don't know you guys, they might just be spread kind of throughout the entire bag. Okay, I see blue and white right here. So let me see if we've got those are two AB colors. I'm thinking that the FD is going to be similar to, oh, well, it probably stands for fairy dust. So FD is going to be like the fairy dust di diamonds from Diamond Art Club. Let's see here. I keep thinking I see the fairy dust and then I pull them out and they're not fairy dust at all. I might have to put you on. Okay, here's an FD color. FD, FD. Here we go, you guys. Okay. And how many did we say we had? Six specialty drills, so we've, we're missing one. And I see it right here. That was not as difficult as I thought it was. Okay, yeah, I think we've got them all now. So I just want to make sure my sticker sheet fell off the desk over here. I just wanna make sure I have all of the specialty drills really quickly. So we had, the first one on the legend is FD208. Those are the ABs. That's that's an AB. That's not a specialty drill. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. FD208, okay. And then we've got AB762. And then FD775. And then we've got FD931. And then... 
AB3846 and AB3865. Okay, those are our specialty drills right there. Let's take a look at where these are on the canvas. So the first one that we have, oh, this legend is so tiny. I might just use the sticker sheet for this. All right, the first one is FD208. And the symbol for that is gonna be that letter R. So anywhere we have R, this could be a challenge because it is so colorful. Let's see where our R's are. Oh, you guys, I can't wait. This looks like a springtime project, but oh boy, do I wanna start it. All right, we've got R's right here in the flowers up here. That's pretty. So that'll really make those stand out. And we have our, let's see. That might be about it, which is nice because he has sent plenty of that color. So it looks like we're gonna have plenty to work with. I won't be worrying about running out of those. So that's our first one. The next specialty drill is going to be AB762. This is kind of a grayish, creamish color that is really pretty. And that is gonna be anywhere we have the number one. So let's take a look at where our number one is. I'm thinking it's gonna be over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Oh, I'm just amazed at this artwork, I really am. Number one, where are you? Okay, we've got number one right in here. So in this tunnel is our kind of grayish color. You can see that right. Where'd you go? Right there. We've got a couple and right there and right through here. Okay, quite a few of those right in that area right there. And I'm not seeing number one anywhere else right off the bat. I think that's gonna be it for the number one. All right, again, we've got plenty of drills to work with. Okay, our next color is gonna be FD775. This is one of my favorite colors. It is like a very light, very, very light green. So let's see anywhere we have that up arrow that's kind of slanted, and that's gonna be over here. Got it there, right here. Got a lot of that there, very pretty. And I think we're gonna have some, nope. Okay, so just the focus is gonna be right in here. We also have some down here along her neckline. Okay, so that's our number one. And then our next specialty drill is gonna be FD931. This really beautiful blue, oh, you guys, that's pretty. So that is gonna be anywhere we have that box with the lines that go on all sides. I don't even know what you call that. I don't even have a nickname for that symbol, but let's see if we can find it. So where are you? Hmm. Okay, I'm looking. This one's kind of a tricky one. I found a few right there. Right in there. Hmm. That can't be all of them. It just can't be. Hmm. I'm not seeing any more. It's just we have quite a few of those. Hmm. Okay, sorry guys. I'm this is the first time I'm locating these drills. That is about all I could find. Okay, so that's our next color. That is a really beautiful fairy dust color. All right, our next one is gonna be FD 
AB3846, this beautiful blue. That's pretty. Look at that color shift on the AB. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a specialty drill that has a lot of sparkle. It just kind of gives your diamond painting a little more sparkle. It also makes the diamonds around it sparkle more too. That's why it has the AB name. So let's see where this one goes. Anywhere that we have this kind of curly Q symbol right there. AB3846. All right. And I'm seeing that in her dress, like the sleeve right there has quite a bit of it right here. Oh, I am loving that. That's really pretty. And down here, beautiful. So that the focus of that is going to be in her dress for sure. And I don't see that one anywhere else. Okay. And then our next one is going to be the final color, 3865, 83865. So that's a kind of whitish color. And that's going to be anywhere we have the check mark. So let's look for that quickly, you guys. Oh my goodness. I know I've seen it as I've been looking for the other ones. We've got the check mark a lot right in this tunnel, right along here, where it's supposed to be really bright. That's pretty. We've got some there and there and there. And down here, really pretty. And then we have some check mark over here in the moon. Lots of them there, really gorgeous. That's gonna give a lot of definition to those areas. Really pretty. Okay, so that is our Ophelia from Cheryl Carpenter from Diamond Art Emporium. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Please check him out. I will link him in the description box of the video. And Ren, if you are watching, thank you so much for this beautiful diamond painting. And Cheryl Carpenter, thank you so much. I love it. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to do more artwork by Cheryl Carpenter. Thank you. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.